Hi, this is Tim Poffenberger. I want to talk today about protected environments and how to set up protected environments for groups. Uh, to give you some uh, historical context as, as to how this got built out, um, our first level of protection when we uh, were building GitLab was protected branches and protected tags. And uh, the key thing to note here is in order to, uh, the, the idea behind protected branches was to protect certain people, uh, only giving certain people within a project the ability to merge or push into a partic particular branch um, or create a particular tag. With, uh, with that though, came this implicit um, agreement that these people, if you own, uh, the, the users that could merge or push were the only ones could, that could also run a pipeline for that particular branch. Um, and this was like that first level of protection for protected environments. Uh, since then though, we've, we have created this environments construct and given people the ability to run jobs uh, within a pipeline that are tied to a particular environment. Um, and uh, in order to do this, you can set up, uh, you can create protections around those. And one way to do that is through this CICD settings and being able to select uh, very similar to um, the, the protected branches and protected tags, being able to see these users and roles. Uh, and, but there is one way to add to this. And if you have members, uh, you can actually see that um, I have members that are a part of this group, or I'm sorry, a, a part of this project. Uh, and we have this demo teams approvers, but uh, it's not a direct member you can see in the source here, it's not a direct member. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and update this. And I'm a part of a lot of groups in on GitLab.com, so I do apologize. It might take a little bit of time to, to return this result. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to give this demo teams approvers direct membership access to this project. And what that's going to open the door for is it's going to give us the ability to then select that direct member group as a as a list of approvers. And it's going to limit the, the number of people that have the ability to deploy to this particular environment. So demo teams approvers. And I'm going to give them developer access. They're already developers, but they are not direct members. And now that I've given them direct member access, you can see here, and I refresh this page, and I go to the protected environments, protect environment, production. Now you'll see this group, approvers, and um, now I'm gonna say approval rules required, just one approval rule, approver from this. And now when we go back to this page, uh, you'll you'll see a little approval uh, thumbs up here. And this gives us, again, a scoped down number of users that are given the ability to approve, even though I have multiple maintainers, multiple owners on this given project. And when we see, you can actually see the list of users uh, from this approvers group. If I go to the members here, You can see that, uh, again, it's a little bit uh, nuanced, but uh, myself and this maintainer are the, the two approvers on that. Thank you.